rep for the British Grooms Association and today I'm going to talk to you about clipping. So first of all I'm going to tell you what you need to clip your horse. So the first thing you need is a set of clippers. Um, you need a newly or sharpened blaze on your clippers. You need a small pot of oil to oil your clippers. You need an extension lead with a circuit breaker, which is on there, and a small body brush, which you can brush your clippers off with once they come here. Today I'm going to talk to you about clipping, and first I'm going to tell you about how to prepare your horse to be clipped. First of all, your horse needs to be clean, with no mud on, as this can blunt your blades. Um, really, your horse should be grease-free, as this will help the clippers to go through easier. Your horse needs to stand in a dry space, um, tied up, and if they're slightly unsettled, they may have a hay So now we're going to start clipping the horse. Now you're starting on the shoulder. Make a nice long stroke against the hair. Now you need to ensure you clip just over each line that you've previously done and this will stop the clippers making lines on your horse. Now I do recommend that you wear an oval or maybe a slippery surface clothing and this will stop the hair sticking to you. I always start on the shoulder and work my way up the horse's neck. Now you need to check often that your clippers aren't too hot as this can burn the horse. If your clippers are too hot, then stop and put some oil on your clippers and just let them cool down for a moment. I recommend you clip your horse in the stable as this is a safer place to clip your horse and many horses are happier in their stable. I also recommend if it's a cold day, you put a rub over your horse's quarters and this will keep your horse warm.